Hello friends, before we start with understanding of working capital in detail, let's have a quick view at the learning objective or the contents that we are going to learn in this course. The course starts with the most basic part of working capital where we will understand about what is working capital which we will beautifully explain you with the detailed example of a manufacturing firm. Then we will understand the type of assets a firm has. There will be in-depth understanding of current assets, its types in detail and which all current assets to be excluded for assessment of working capital. Then there will be a detailed learning about various types of current liabilities and the concept of networking capital. We will understand in detail about working capital gap. The working capital gap is used by banks or financial institutions for their assessment of working capital. This is a very important concept of working capital from a lender's perspective. We will learn in detail the formula for working capital gap and how to assess it from the financial statements of a company. Then we will focus on the long term sources and uses of funds and short term sources and uses of funds. It is very important for all of you to understand what source of funds does the company requires and what will be its end use. For example, working capital is a short term source of funds whereas term loan is a long term source of funds. Now working capital which is a short term source of fund is used for building current assets of a company whereas term loan which is a long term source of funds is used for building the fixed assets of a company. Hence we will understand the concept in more detail by taking a practical example. We will also explain you the operating cycle of a company which is also known as asset conversion cycle. The concept will be explained with the help of a case study. Then the focus will be on to measure the operating cycle for which we will understand the importance of various holding level like inventory holding levels, its subcomponents, raw material holding period, stock in progress holding period and finished goods holding period. Then we will focus on receivables holding period and payables holding period. We will explain you the formula with a numerical example and the importance of the holding levels. The interesting part of this course is a case study of Tata Motors Limited where we will understand the working capital gap of Tata Motors, why Tata Motors has negative working capital and being a lender what should you consider while assessment of working capital. We will also understand the working capital model for auto sector. We have given focus on the sector analysis because working capital for pharma sector, for auto sector or for retail sector will differ. So in order to understand the company's working capital assessment, it is very important to understand at a macro level that is to understand the industry level assessment of working capital. In this case study, I am going to focus on the cash flow analysis of Tata Motors. There we will explain you how to make cash flow how to judge the assessment of working capital from cash flow. It is important to analyze the components of cash flow which reflects the working capital requirement of a firm. I have provided a very detailed excel sheet which I have made from the annual report of Tata Motors for financial year FY 2013 and 14. In excel you will find the calculation of working capital gap on standalone and consolidated basis, calculation of liquidity ratio, quick ratio, calculation of cost of production, cost of sales, then calculation of cross profit, EBITDA and how to calculate the various holding levels. This case study will help you understand practically what all points lenders assess before lending the finance to the company. So friends, this was the structure of our course that we will be looking at in our future videos.